Hi there, welcome to our Pharmacy Revision Series by CBH Education. Today we're going to be talking about amiodarone. So some of the common conditions that amiodarone is licensed for are severe rhythm disorders, atrial flutter and fibrillation. The mechanism of action of amiodarone is that it has many effects on myocardial cells, which include blocking the sodium, calcium and potassium channels, interfering with AV node conduction. The side effects of amiodarone include arrhythmias, hepatic disorders, hypothyroidism, nausea, respiratory disorders, and skin reactions. Drug interactions include increasing the plasma concentration of verapamil, didoxin, and diltiazem. Counterindications include thyroid dysfunction and severe conduction disturbances. And key monitoring includes urea and electrolytes, which is mainly potassium, thyroid function tests, and liver function tests as well. Some of the key aspects to help you with your revision your exams, your OSCEs, clinical placements, and even like the pre-registration pharmacy exam is that amiodarone does have a long half-life and even if after it's stopped, it still remains there for several weeks. So there's a potential for drug interactions. Other aspects include corneal microdeposits, thyroid dysfunctions, hepatotoxicity, and pulmonary toxicity as well. You do have the loading dose associated with amiodarone as well. So when patients do start on amiodarone, they do start on 200 milligram three times a day for one week, 200 milligram twice a day for one week, and then on the maintenance dose as um, 200 milligrams once daily. Before you initiate therapy as well, patients should also have a chest x-ray. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Please consult the BNF and SPC for further information and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.